Hey, everybody, it's me, Jeff, Jeff Babcock again, okay. I, uh, I've got some books back here that I've been reading to you, and this is kind of the setup where I do it. This is my desk, and I have a computer and a microphone, and a, you know, so I can read to you. I'd like to do it, you know, somehow to include myself, but uh, I figure I'll just maybe introduce each book. And the one I'm going to read to you now is by Bill Pete, and it's called The Gnats of Naughty Pine. Okay? Hope you enjoy it. Hey, uh, Jeff Babcock here. I'm going to read you another story, and this time it is called The Gnats of Naughty Pine, and it's by an author named Bill Pete. Okay? Here's another page. There's Bill Pete. This book uh, has been around since 1975, and the year that I'm reading it to you is 2021. So, what would be the uh, the how many years ago? How many years ago did this? Uh, 46 years old. This book is 46 years old. Wow. Now that's a G N, and this is a K N. Both of those sounds say mmm. Hence, we have. We have the gnats, oop, there's a clue, a clue over there. But we have the gnats of knotty pine, okay? Everybody with me? All right, here we go. This is a quote by Bill Pete. Just the way some authors write something in the front of the book, he wrote this quote to his young friends, to my young friends who love toy guns, with the hope that you won't grow up to love real guns won't grow up to love real guns with real bullets that kill real things and here's bill pete when he was a young a young lad with his uh, his puppy torch and here he is a little bit older okay and that's probably the same dog all right here we go oh a gun and a squirrel. So is it a good idea to shoot squirrels and shoot birds and things like that? No, no. Okay. The giant bull moose shivered as he waded up a creek into a ravine. Now his shivering was not from the chill in the air. No, 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 no. The moose was shivering from fright. Tomorrow was the first day of hunting season, which meant terrible trouble for many of the creatures living in Knotty Pine Forest. Now the big fellow was on his way to a meeting of the animals held every year on the day before all the shooting began. Now, when the moose arrived at the meeting place at the end of the ravine, a crowd had already gathered. Some were seated on boulders and logs, while others perched on tree limbs. The purpose of the meeting was to try to figure out some plan to foil the hunters and save their own skins. Uh, an old brown bear was the first to speak, and he started things out off on a sour note. These meetings are a waste of time, he grumbled. We all know the hunters are out after deer. A prize buck with a fancy pair of antlers? Let, let the deer worry. Oh, 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 but if they don't get one of us, protested a big buck. Then they'll shoot at anything on four legs. Uh, uh, or on two legs, wailed a quail. Or, or, or anything else that moves. Oh, that's, that's right, said a porcupine. We, we are all in danger. Hunters kill us for the fun of it. And to, to them, it's, well, it's a game. And they like to call it you know, sport. Ah, I had the wildest dream last night, said a squirrel. I dreamed that I had a high-powered rifle and two hunters came along without their guns. And when I, I took aim at them, they, they dropped to their knees crying, Please, oh please, please don't shoot. It's not fair. 
We, we don't have our guns. It's not fair. Please. Did, <laughs> did you let him have it? Asked a bobcat. No, said the squirrel. But I sure gave him a bad time. Uh, look, fellas, I said, no need to get upset. <laughs> this is only a little old game, a real fun sport. It wouldn't be much of a sport if your side always won, would it? Now it's, it's your turn to lose for a change. So cheer up, my friends. And I kept teasing the hunters until I had them in tears. Oh, 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 oh. And then, and then I woke up laughing. <laughs> a lousy dream, snarled the bobcat. It's real dumb. Oh, hold it now, said a fat possum. We we can't go on bickering like this. We we must all stick together. I I, I say it's all for one, uh, and one for all. <laughs> you you mean all for nothing? Sneered a fox. We all stick together, and then we get popped off all in one bunch. Yeah, <laughs> real smart. <laughs> Hey, 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 I've got an idea, said a jackrabbit. We, we all take off at once, running around and around and around in all directions and all over the place until the hunters get so dizzy and they get so mixed up that they can't shoot straight. Ha 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 ha, laughed the fox. Oh yeah, that's great. We run and run until we're all out of breath and we fall on our faces and then the hunters knock us off in their own good time. Oh, that's, that's just great. Okay, okay, said the rabbit. If you're so smart, let's hear your plan. I'm all ears. Huh. I say we all do our own thing, said the fox. The runners run, the climbers climb, and the hiders hide, just as we always have. Well, I uh, hate to agree with a uh, smart aleck, said the moose, but I, I, I do believe the fox is right. We, we have no other choice. And after that, no one could think of a thing to say, and the crowd settled into a deep silence. At this point, a swarm of gnats joined the meeting. And the top gnat, known as Nate, he came buzzing up alongside the moose right up to his ear. Uh, do, 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 you, do you mind, said Nate, if I have a few words, sir? Oh, oh, oh speak up, said the moose. Well, oh, but make it short. There's no time for small talk. <laughs> Nate shouted at the top of his voice to make sure all the others could hear. We gnats of Mighty Pine Forest have all been thinking. Gnats thinking, <laughs> snickered the fox. Now I've heard everything. <laughs> when a billion gnats get their heads together, shouted Nate. It all adds up to one big brain with big ideas. We, we have thought of a plan to save you from the hunters. Oh, 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 oh goody, 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 chortled the fox. Oh, <laughs> our worries are over. Not funny, growled the bear. And that's drive me bats. Oh, well, well, me too, grumped the moose. Beat it, gnats. Scram. Buzz off, all of you. And with an angry snort, he blasted them out of sight. After the gnats had gone, there was another long silence. And by this time, it was nearly sunset and deep shadows crept down the ravine. And finally the moose said, 
Well, we don't seem to be getting anywhere, so why don't we yeah, call it a day? Then the meeting broke up, and all the unhappy animals went their separate ways. And as they left, a squirrel called out from a pine tree, See you all tomorrow, everybody. Well, <clears throat> maybe so, muttered the moose, and maybe not. Well, at dawn the next morning, the roaring motors echoed through the trees as jeeps, campers, and pickup trucks came up the road below the forest. And then came the voices of the hunters laughing and, and shouting, Ha 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 ha! Ho ho ho! Here we are! As they hauled out their guns. Up in the forest, panic set in. The deer, the fox, and the rabbits raced off in all directions. The quail hid under bushes, and the porcupines and skunks crawled into hollow logs. The bobcats, raccoons, possums, chipmunks, and squirrels crowded into the treetops. And the bears scrambled into a dense tangle of brush. And so did the moose. But alas, he left his great pair of antlers in full view. And while the animals were all in a wild frenzy, the hunters were as calm as could be and ever so quiet. <laughs> And they knew that wild things have good ears, and they hoped to catch them by surprise. And this, this was the first rule of the game. And as the men headed up the slope toward the forest, they walked very softly, and they talked in whispers with their rifles all set for a shot. They were just a few yards away from the first clump of trees when all of a sudden, out of the grass swarmed great clouds of gnats, billions of them, and leading each cloud was a fearless flight commander shouting orders, go ahead, go for the heads, go, go for the faces, you got to go for their eyes. Buzz them. Buzz them. Drive them. Bats. Go. Nats. Go. Nats. Go, go, go. Now the hunters were the ones caught by surprise. The gnat attack was so sudden and so blinding, the hunters were sent staggering back on their heels. Oh, hey, what, what in blazes is this? One of them yelled. Hey. They're gnats, you not head, I yelled another. Gnats? Billions of all those, ah, those pesky little, ah, they're driving me bats. And in seconds, every last man was caught with his head in a great buzzing cloud of gnats. And the hunters flew into a rage, swatting and, and slapping wildly at the storm of tiny insects. Some swung with their rifles, hitting nothing but, but thin air. One rifle went kabam, barely missing one of the men. That did it. Let's get out of here, someone shouted, before we all get killed. Which, which way is out, shouted another. Downhill, you dope, the battle was over. The hunters dropped their rifles and fled down the hill to their campers, jeeps, and pickups. And with a great, a great roaring of the motors, they took off. And as the last jeep disappeared into the distance, the gnats formed a big V for victory, and then let go with a rousing cheer that could be heard 
for at least 20 feet. <laughs> the victory was especially sweet since it was won without bloodshed. Not one single gnat was lost. Now, all the creatures in the forest were deeply indebted to the gnats. Yet there was no way to thank a billion tiny insects scattered all over the forest one by one. So the big bull moose was called upon to thank them all at once. First, he waded out into a stream since he knew that sound carries better over the water. And then, with all his great lung power, the big moose cut loose. Coin the whole gnats! Ah, Coin all gnats! He bellowed. Hear this! Hear this! <coughs> Thanks a billion! <coughs> well, the big thanks echoed for miles across the forest, and every single gnat heard it loud and clear. Of course, this made Nate and his buzzing billions feel mighty big. And from that day on, whenever the roar of motors echoed through knotty pine forest. The gnats took to the air to meet the enemy head on. To them, it was a real fun game. Great sport. <laughs> oh, now Bill Pete, oh, he's, I tell you, he has written so many wonderful stories. I'm going to keep adding a few every now and then. Uh, there's just tons of them. You, know, you look up Bill Pete and the, you can find them on Amazon or wherever. They're great stories, all of them. Now, here, here, here's the real Bill Pete, okay? That's him as an older, an older man. I am an illustrator, an author illustrator of children's books, and yet I must confess, I don't do the books for the kids. When I'm working on a book I'll somewhere, I'm somewhere else at, the, I'm at a circus or a rustic old farm or deep in a forest with, with no thought of who might read the book or what age group it would appeal to. I write them so I can illustrate them. That's what, that's what Bill Pete said, yeah. Now, here's the same picture, celebrating the 62nd anniversary of Herbert's hair-raising adventure. And may, maybe I'll choose that one next. Author, illustrator, Bill Pete, author, illustrator, and filmmaker. He was born in 1915, and he passed on in 2002. Bill Pete has written and illustrated more than 30 books for children, loved by children, by parents, teachers, and librarians for over 61 years because his book books make reading fun and they teach positive values. And during his 27-year career making animated films, Bill Pete became Walt Disney's greatest story man. So he worked for Walt Disney as one of his artists. And here's me. <laughs> I, I'm getting up there too in age, okay? And, and right here by a, uh, this wonderful stream that, that rolls through the forest up a little ways from about a half hour away from where we live, okay? So once again, I get out as much as I can. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.